Hey everybody, this is Linda and welcome to Lenny P's Place. I'm back today uh, to try to work a little bit on my uh, cigar box that I'm altering for a friend here on YouTube. And um, let's see, the last time that I worked on it, I had, I didn't have this on there and that's not even, that's not attached. I had put all the trim around the bottom and um, I did cut out these I couldn't decide if I was going to cut cut this out or leave it I did cut it out because it makes the box open better but then I really didn't like the raw edge that I had up here so I added some crochet trim here that I had and this was it here and I have enough of it to go here and the reason I think I'm going to go here is because I also added this this trim this pearl trim here and I don't like the way that it fits up in there and I don't know if you can see I think you can see that I don't like the way that fits it doesn't lay down as flat as it should so I thought that I might I don't have enough of this to go all the way around. It's the same trim that I used here. So I thought I would just go around the front top edge here. Now I haven't glued anything down yet because I haven't exactly made up my mind. But I'm thinking I'm going to go like this because that's going to kind of take care of that up there that I don't like. And then um, I had this big antique piece of um, some type of a, I don't know if it was an insert for a dress or a collar or what. It's a huge, I'm just going to call it an applique because I don't know what else to call it, but it was this big piece. And so I did some cutting on it. And I uh, came up with this. I just kept cutting until I had this, this piece, which is just about perfect to go right here. And yes, there's some very old stains and wear on this piece because it is really old. But I think that adds to the charm, and I am not going to let that stop me from using it. And then I had this flower in my stash, and I'm not sure where it came from. I don't know if I made it or if somebody made it and gave it to me, but for whatever reason, I have it. I was thinking that I would put it here, like that, with this piece of lace up here. And then I cut these two little pieces off, and the other one goes. Um, I don't know if I want to put these up here or not. I was thinking about putting those up there because I thought it kind of, kind of finished that off a little bit more. So I'm thinking I might put those up there. And then, um, I had some pearls laying here somewhere, here they are, that I was going to, I thought about adding. I don't have very many of these, but I do think I have enough that I can um, use these. Show you what I'm thinking about doing. I have one of these little things, but I don't know if I can get it to pick anything up or not. I have trouble with getting this thing to work, so let's see. If I can get the top off of it. I don't even know if I can. There we go. Um, I was thinking about, yeah, I can use it, putting these little pearls in like that. And let, me, let me come down a little. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, and I'm going to try really hard to keep my head out of this. <laughs> I'm really sorry. When I went back and looked at this, my head was all in it. So I was thinking I would put these little pearls 
in just like that so they match this one up here and I'll put them each one of these little swirly things here and then let me put these back in here before I knock them off because I don't have very many of those tiny ones and then I have where did I put it I only have two of these if I had three I could make an, a, a little arrangement I think down here in the corner but I don't so I'm wondering if I should put one of these there or if I should just let this be it I'm kind of thinking just let this be it but then I was wondering should I put anything underneath it like a little piece of uh, old netting or something um, seems like I, I might have some in this basket I should have gotten it out. I had some old netting from an old wedding dress. I thought I had put it in here. Well, this isn't, yeah, here it is. I had this uh, old netting from a wedding dress that was uh, antique wedding dress. So I don't know if, see it's very old and it just, it rips really easy because <laughs> it's so old. Uh, I didn't know if I should put a piece of this under there or leave it. Let's see, if I pick this up, you get back up there so I can try to see if I want to do this. Um, see how would I want to do it maybe start up here at this corner with that and just sort of lay some of it down um, I don't know if I want to or not um, oh yeah I didn't have those those are just lay in there I'm not sure I'm thinking maybe no lace what do you think I think maybe none unless I just really kind of spread it out and I don't really like to spread it out because then it's not it's kind of if I just turn it around and maybe not put any at the top just let some be at the bottom Let's see what that looks like hmm It is vintage and well this isn't vintage here this this is some old antique netting from from an old wedding dress I could do that and then I could put these up here to see kind of just finish this off up at the top. You know what? I think I might do that. Yeah, I think I might. What do you think? And then I'm just not going to put anything else on it. I'm just going to do this, and that's going to be it. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I've made up my mind. Now, do I want to use hot glue or do I want to use Fabri-Tac? I think maybe for this part I'll use Fabri-Tac. That way if I need to move some stuff around I'll have some time to do that. So I'm just going to put a glob if I can get it to come out right in here. Just to just to hold it down because it's I don't really want it to be too um, you know I don't want it to be completely down I want it to be um, where I can kind of move it around uh, or it'll move around not that I want to move it around but that it will um, move around a bit 
So let's see now. That is there. And just a maybe a little right here so that I can just kind of mash that down just a little just to hold it. Okay, get on down there. Let's get Betty. She can help. Betty's always good for helping with things. I'll move that over. I don't want it to be too far over. Too far up there. Because I don't want it to get in the way of my trim. That I'm going to put up there. Okay. Now, let's see. If we put this back on here, like this. I want this to be a little loose, just a little, where it'll move a little bit, just a little texture to come out underneath this thing. All right, let me move that up there where it belongs. You come on back down here. That might be just a little bit too bulky right there. We'll see when we're done. Might be okay. Now, I got that in the right spot. Mm, I think so. Let's see. We might have to cut that little piece off right there, but we'll leave it for now. I can cut it off later. Um, See when I get my flower on, if that's in the right place. Now I think it needs to come up just a little. Like that. Yep. And then I want to put these two. I'll put this on first. I'm going to use hot glue for this, I think. Since I know where it's going. I don't want to get hot glue on my little places where I'm going to put my pearls. Make sure I stay away from that. Okay. See where we're at. I don't want to go too fast and mess myself up here. Because once you put stuff down with this hot glue, you're not going to get it off without tearing up your paper, that's for sure. So I want to make sure that it's where I want it. Now, I need to stand up to look, but I'll try to keep my head out of the way. Uh, yeah, I think that's about right. Okay, now, let me turn this box around. Let me see. Do I want to put this underneath there? Yeah. Okay, let's see where we're at. Let's keep on going around. Let's move that over a little. Glue strings get everywhere. That's the only problem with this hot glue is that it just gets everywhere. But you know, if you take your heat tool 
or blow, I guess you could use a hair dryer and just blow it, the glue strings just disappear. So that's a good thing to know, a good little trick if you ever have a problem with glue strings. Because if you use much hot glue, you know about that already, probably. Let's see. What do you think? I think it's going to look okay. Get over there. Let's see. What do I want to do here? Is that all right, or do I want to move some of it? Let's move it a little. There we go. Um, so how was everybody's Thanksgiving? I hope you had a good one. Uh, we did. We spent the day with our son and daughter-in-law and her parents and our little granddaughter. So we had a nice Thanksgiving. And uh, it would have been nicer if my daughter and son-in-law and my grandson could have been here, but they could not. But we'll have uh, a family dinner with them in the middle of December because they won't be here for Christmas either. So we we'll just have to celebrate in between, which it doesn't happen very often, but it's happened this year. So I can't complain. Most years I get to spend with both of my kids, just not this year. Um, so... One thing that was good about this year was that I didn't have to cook. My, my daughter-in-law did it all, except for the turkey, and her mom did the turkey. And everything was delicious. I made a banana pudding. <laughs> I know it's not very traditional for um, Thanksgiving, but my son requested that I make one. He loves it. It's his favorite. And since I wasn't making anything um, else, I made banana. Well, actually, I made some of the banana pudding, but <laughs> I had help. My little granddaughter, she's three. I think I've really told y'all quite a bit about her already. She helped me make it, and she did a really good job. <laughs> she really did. Um, now I want to put these on. Do I want them to come this way? I think so. But yeah, she did a, she did a, a super <laughs> good job of helping me. I did the measuring, and then she did the, uh, I did the measuring, and she did the stirring, and she'd stir and stir and stir, and her little arm would get tired, and she'd say, Graham, can you stir for a minute? And I'd take it and stir for a minute, and then she'd want it back, and she'd stir some more, so, and then she didn't want to do the bananas, because they're a little bit messy, and she didn't want to mess, she didn't want to pick them up. So, I did the bananas, and she did the vanilla wafers, and, yeah, it uh, it turned out really good, and she was so proud of herself. She just told everybody, I made that. I made that banana pudding. <laughs> so, it was fun. I had a, such, such a good time with her. I really do enjoy her a lot. Sometimes when I'm in the middle of crafting, making something, and it's on my mind, <laughs> I wish I, I wish that I could come in here and work on it, but uh, I've tried that. It doesn't work. <laughs> it does not work because she wants to help, and she's a little chatterbox. So if she's in here, um, for sure I can't turn the camera on. If I can get that just right in there. There, I think that's good. I hope that's good. Now I find just the right way to put the flower on so that it 
covers everything that I've done. Let's see. Mm, I think that's pretty good right there. To stand up and look. I'm crafting in my pajamas today. I took a shower and put my clean pajamas right back on because I didn't see any point putting any clothes on when I wasn't going anywhere, right? So, I am in my PJs, crafting in my PJs today. All right, I think I'm going to say that it's going to go just like that. That pretty much gets all my little things here so you can see them. I'm a very, I guess you'd call it symmetrical crafter. I like everything to be equal and in just the right spot. <laughs> it's kind of hard when you have um, flower petals that don't want to cooperate and get where you want them to be. So, okay, I think that's about as good as I'm going to get it. So there we go. Now that's down, not going anywhere. Okay, now I got to put this other thing on here. This. Let me get the right side. I want to put it on backwards. Sometimes it's hard to tell. I think this is it here. Yep. So. Okay. Let me see where have I got to stop it right. Alright, I'm going to stop. I'm going to cut this one little piece off right here. Let me turn it around. Okay. Oh, let me put my lid on here before my glue dries out. Doesn't take but a minute for that stuff to dry out, you know. I could keep my hands steady. It worked better. They're not very steady. And it really shows sometimes when I'm crafting that they're not as steady as they used to be. Nor do my fingers work the way they used to. They don't either. But you know, we just do the best we can with what we've got to work with. So, did any of you go out and do any Black Friday shopping? I stayed away from the stores. My husband did want to go to Lowe's because he wanted to get some a piece of oak. My son killed a deer, and he was going to mount the head, and he needs a plaque or whatever you want to call it to mount it on. So my husband was going to fix that for him, but we decided not to go to Lowe's today. We decided that we would wait until... maybe tomorrow or we might even wait till Monday but 
I use Betty for this part. Okay, I think we got that. Now, I have to put all those little pearls in. The question is, what am I going to, I don't think I'm going to do it with my heart glue. I don't believe I will. I think I'll use Fabri-Tac because, well, I don't know. What well, should I do? Let's see. Um, let's try one with the hot glue, and if that don't seem to be too good, then I'll use. Now, let's see. I want to use these tiny ones here. Teeny tiny ones. There's just not a lot of. I don't want glue everywhere. And I don't want them to fall off. There. They have holes in them. I wish they didn't, but they do. I don't like that one because you can see the hole, but I'm going to leave it. If I can pick them up where the hole is on the sides, it won't show up so much. Hmm. might not be putting enough glue, they might fall off. I need a little more under here, I think. There. Okay. Um, I got two different sizes of beads in here. I mean, uh, yeah. So I got to make sure that I don't get the wrong ones. I think I might put some. No, I think I'll just go ahead with these. And hope I have enough. Because, you know, I don't count nothing to find out. I wait till it's too late to know. Like I did yesterday, or the other day, not yesterday, yesterday I didn't come in here um, with my little ones. I think I do have some more of these little ones somewhere. I'd have to hunt them up, so. That was too much glue on that. Probably a little bored watching this. Just go around here and glue beads down. You're too big. My little one's at. There they are. I need my glue gun on the other side, but then it wouldn't do me a whole lot of good because I couldn't do it with my left hand anyway. Uh, I guess it's all right where it's at. Still getting a little. And it's a little same size. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. I can't really tell if I'm getting my little ones or I'm getting my, I think I'm getting my little ones. I hope so. Maybe if I get a big one, it won't show. They're so close to being the same size anyway. Maybe it won't matter.
I have to hurry up and get this done and go get some dinner for my husband. Actually, I don't have to cook. I just have to go in there and heat some stuff up because my, my daughter-in-law made us big old things of leftovers. She cooked so much, and there was only six of us. And, of course, my granddaughter, she won't eat any of that stuff. She's so picky. She's so tiny for her age because she won't eat. She just doesn't like, she just doesn't like to eat. <laughs> All she wants to eat is oatmeal and pancakes and mac and cheese and ramen noodles and bagels. Every now and then, you can talk her into eating a chicken nugget, but not very often. Her mom's vegetarian, so she doesn't eat any meat. She doesn't really cook any at home either. Um, she's, uh, she cooks good. She just doesn't cook dishes with meat in them. hot in here. Guess my heat guns, uh, my glue guns putting out some heat or something. So I haven't decided if I'm going to do anything inside the box or not. I'm kind of thinking no, that I'm not. Because it's a lot easier, I think, for storage if you don't fill it up with laces and stuff. And I think I'm just going to limit the decorating to the outside here of the box. But we'll see when I get inside. But I'm thinking right now that I'm not going to do any. There. Now, move on around on this side. Having a heat wave, a tropical heat wave. <laughs> hmm. We're running out of little ones. Da, 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 da. I don't need very many more. I hope I have enough. Almost done. And then I'll see where I'm at from there. Wish I could talk and tell me. If there's anybody here watching, I wish you could tell me what you think. I'm going to leave that one. You can see the hole, but I don't care. I don't think it's going to matter that much about that. There's going to be enough stuff to look at that maybe I'll be the only one that notices that their hole is showing. I think I got two holes that are showing. Now I might pull them off and fix them. Knowing me, I probably will. Had to get my heat gun out. Get all the glue strings off. Now let's see. Well, that's looking pretty. I think. All right, let's see. I need to go around here. And put four, about four, five, six more of these on. And we'll be done with this. You put one here. One thing that I don't care like is that uh, 
the flower petals are messing up my uh, feng shui. <laughs> It makes my pearls off a little bit. Oh, I gotta finish gluing that thing down. I didn't get it all glued. I need to glue up here, I think. That'll hold it down when I put my bead in there. Let's see. Little ones. There's one. Hmm. I'm running out of small ones. I don't want to go digging for any more. I had these. And I do have some more of these little ones, but I don't remember where they're at, and I don't want to go digging around looking for them. So, let me see if i got two more small ones. If not, I can use a little bit bigger ones right up here, I think. It'll be okay. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. I don't, there's not that much difference in the size of them that it's going to make that much difference anyway, I don't think. And this is the last one of those beads that I need to put on. I just need to glue this down right here. And on this side, I need to glue this down. All right. Now let's see how it looks. Yeah. I think that looks pretty good. What do you think? Let's see. I might need to put a little glue right in here to hold that flower back from show from covering up my because I just glued it in the middle. I didn't glue the rest of it down because I wanted it to move a little bit. So I'll have to play with it just a little. But I'll figure that out in a little bit. Let me put this stuff here away. I'm done with it. Get blue strings off of it. This is an old wedding dress that I bought years and years ago. And this is all that I have left. I have some appliques left. And a little bit of knitting, and that's all I have left. But I want this to have vintage stuff on it, so vintage and antique. So... If I can keep from mixing my stuff, I like to. Sometimes, though, it gets mixed together, but, you know, vintage and antique. But very seldom do I use anything new. If I'm using vintage and antique, then I try to do it all the way through my project. doesn't always work out that way, but I do try. Put a 
little bit right here. And, oh, look at there. I have one that I didn't get anything in. Did that one have one? No. Cover you up. I'm not going to put one. There we go. All right. Yep, I think we're about done with this. Now, I thought about putting a flower down here, but I don't think I'm going to. And if I do, I'll come back and do it later. I'm not going to do it now. When in doubt, don't do it, right? <laughs> Best not to. And I have absolutely decided that I do not want to put any type of a little knob on here. I was going to put one here, and then I decided I don't want to. I think I'm done with the outside of this box. I don't think I'm going to do anything else to it. And then on the inside, <laughs> glue strings, glue strings, glue strings. Even though this paper got a little warped, a little bit wrinkled up right here, I'm leaving it. It's not enough to hurt anything. It doesn't bother me. And I really like the way the inside looks. And I thought about putting some sort of, not this, but some sort of a trim just right around the bottom. But I have decided that I don't think I'm going to. I think it's going to be just like it is. And now I'll be ready to start um, working on the stuff that's going on the inside of this. Um, I bought this at the Dollar Tree the other day when I was in there and I thought how cute this would be. I'll take this cover off and I'll make a lace cover that when this year's over she can take this out and slip another one in. And I won't put a lot of embellishments on it in case she wants to keep it in her purse. And that'll be one thing that goes in here. So I'll be working on that next. Probably, possibly, um, tomorrow. Or I might even start on it later tonight since I think, at least for the time being, I'm going to call the box finished. I'm just going to say I'm not doing anything else to the box. And if I decide to, we can always come back and do it. But for right now, I'm going to clean up all the stuff that I got out for the box and put it away and get out some stuff for this because that's going to be the next thing I do. So I may come back later on tonight and work on it, or I may not because I'm behind now on my tags for the Ann Brooks 52 Tag uh, Tags Handmade Challenge. I'm behind last, I don't have last week's or this week's done. So I might just hang out in the living room with my husband and work on my tags tonight and start this tomorrow. We'll see. Anyway, that's it for now. So thanks for uh, stopping by and spending a little time with me. I appreciate it so very much. And I guess I should ask if you really like it, would you please uh, leave me a comment and give me a thumbs up? <laughs> I don't ask for those very often. I don't think about it, but I would appreciate it. So until um, next time when I'll start working on this, I will talk to you later. Bye for now.